What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd and welcome to another video. This week I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own Lightroom presets and how to tweak them to make your photos really pop. I'm going to be walking you guys through how I created my own preset bundles and how you can do it for yourself. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video so you can get one of the presets that I make during this video for free. There are a ton of different ways to edit photos, but people start to develop their own feel and their own taste over time. And the great reason for developing your own presets is because then you can go into photos that you like to edit on a frequent basis and continuously get a very consistent look. Okay, so let's hop into the computer and I'll show you guys exactly how to do this. So what you wanna do is download Adobe Lightroom CC and go to the classic version and open that up. You're gonna to go to the library and then you're going to import your photos. If you have the ability to with your camera, you wanna make sure that you're shooting everything in raw format just so you have more flexibility with the color in post. Okay, so you've imported some photos here. We're gonna go over to the develop tab. That's a nice picture. But as you can see, this is a raw photo. So if I zoom in, it's very like white and drab. What I'm gonna do is go over to presets, drop this down. I'm gonna to go to the ones that I created for this video. So one of them would be kernel mustard. You just click it and it applies it. Now, if you've never used Lightroom presets, this is super handy because say you want this look for every single one of your photos, you can just click this and apply it to everything and you'd be good to go. But if you don't have presets and you're trying to create your own, all you're gonna do is, I'm gonna reset this. So over here on the right hand panel, you can change a lot of these things. You can change the color temperature, make it more warm, make it more cool. Um, you can change the tint and all these different things. So I'm gonna go in here and make a quick little edit to this to show you how it works. Okay, so now we're looking at what this would look like if I just did a really quick edit to it and say I really like this color Here's a before and after here so you can see what that looks like. So say you really like this look for your photos and you wanna keep this consistent, all you have to do to save this is go over to your presets, hit this little button here to add preset and hit create preset. What this will do is it'll pull up this dialog box and you can name it whatever you want. You can make a new group which would just be a collection of presets that have a certain look and then you just go through and make sure that everything is checked so it takes every single thing that you made as a change in that photo and it saves it as a preset. So I added this to my Solo Video Pro presets, which I've made five that are actually for purchase, so I'll make sure to link those up in the description box below. After you download the presets, all you have to do is go to this little plus icon and hit Import Presets, and go to the place that you save them and unzip the file, and hit Import. And then it should populate under User Presets, and they'll be right here under Solo Video Pro Presets. As you can see, I've downloaded a lot of user presets from other creators um, throughout the years, and, it, and not all of them look super good on a photo. But the good thing about having a preset is that you can kind of scroll through all the ones that you have and say you find one that you do like, you can click that one to apply it and then you can tweak it from there. So this is really how you optimize your workflow because then you can enhance things, you can darken and lighten, you can lower the contrast, you can increase you know, the curves or whatever it is that you wanna to do to kind of tweak and edit this photo to make it more customized to the look and feel of it. So I can start with this from, from another creator and tweak these sliders to make sure that it is applicable to my photo and then the before and after as you can see is that and it's a much quicker application of a preset that can speed that workflow really really fast and make it really more efficient for you when you're editing a lot of photos at once so we'll look at some other photos here i'm going to go to the develop tab with these and here just a basic headshot here and you can use some of these presets to apply to your photo so we'll look at some of these kernel mustard looks pretty good um, I do like the edgy headshot on this one though. So you could start with this, and this is a preset that I created. You can just apply it directly to this photo and boom, it's there ready to go. But say you want it to be a little bit more edgy. Maybe you want some more texture in it or you want some more uh, haze to his pores so it looks a little more you know, gritty or something like that. So you can increase the texture and you can see some of his pores. Maybe you wanna like, maybe make it not as edgy, a little softer, kind of smooth those skin tones out a little bit and it kind of hides the pores and the grit of his skin. So there's a lot of flexibility you can do with these. You can apply them to pretty much anything. Um, and again, they're not gonna look good on each and every one, but that's one of the benefits of having presets is that you can kind of speed this workflow up a little bit. And that's the beauty of Lightroom is that you can create presets based on your look and your feel. And a lot of photographers ask me, how do you find your unique look um, when you're first starting out? And the truth is it just comes with time. There are certain photo styles that if you just expose yourself to enough of them, you'll find stuff that you do enjoy. I typically like more heavily contrasted moody photos um, that are kind of more emotional and kind of tell a story that way. 
Some people just love light and airy. Some people like teal and orange. Some people like black and white. It really just depends on what your personal preference is. And you're only gonna learn that by finding other creators out there, um, sampling what they do, applying it to your photos, tweaking things to make it more customized to what you like, and eventually you'll find your own style. I also really do like the workflow with using presets that I've created for myself and or downloading other creators' presets and using them and tweaking them for all my photos just to kind of speed that workflow up so I don't take hours and hours to edit my photos, I can do them a lot quicker. So a lot of people have been asking me to create a Lightroom preset pack uh, the last couple months and thankfully with all the quarantine times I've actually had time to do that. So. Um, from designing some of these, I've designed five custom presets that you can download right now if you want them. Uh, they'll be linked up below in the link in the description box below. Colonel Mustard, Contrast Complex, Edgy Headshot, Teal Punch, and Vintage Denim. Now that whole pack of five will be in a paid pack that you can download and purchase if you'd like, but if you just want to try one preset and kind of play with it a little bit for your own photos and see if you like them and kind of figure out this whole Lightroom thing, I will be including the Vintage Denim preset as a free pay what you want or pay what you can download. So I really hope this pack helps you guys out. I will be putting other things up on my Selfie site over time with free guides and other great valuable stuff that you can download whenever you want and use it to help your business, help with editing your photos or editing your videos and all that type of stuff as well. So in closing, make sure to go check out the Lightroom presets that I have in the description box below, but also just try other creator styles and see what fits you best. Um, I would have I would have never found my more contrasty, moody style if I didn't sample things and kind of evolve over time by just trying other people's stuff. So check out my stuff, check out other creators stuff, ask other photographers, videographers how they're getting the color and the look that they have um, and just try and really understand the craft of it because it really is a craft and anybody can take a great photo but the way that you're going to have a really impactful photo is a high quality edited image. So make sure to go check those things out. And that about does it for me, guys. My name is Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd. And we'll see you in the next week's video. Peace.